Hello and welcome to another tutorial video with me, Lisa from Early Office. This specific tutorial video will talk about front-end options for exhibitors to take part in the conference and to interact with delegates. So this is very much aimed towards exhibitors taking part in the early or Jour conference. So we'll start in the lobby, which is where you'll be automatically directed upon accessing Feedloop. As an exhibitor and as a booth manager, you will receive your personal login for the Feedloop platform a couple of days before the start of the event. Each booth manager will have their own unique credentials so that you can both join in the conference independently of one another. Now, the main hub for you as an exhibitor is the exhibit hall, which is where I will navigate through now. So you'll find this in the main navigation menu. And the exhibit hall will look a little something like this, a 3D virtual exhibition. Now, this is just a test event. So this is sample data. The actual virtual exhibition will look a little bit different to this. And delegates will basically have the option to select a booth, click on it, and then they can enter the details of the booth. The main button you'll want to have a look at is the join live button. This is your way as an exhibitor to start up a live conversation at your booth with up to 24 other participants. Now, we don't expect you to have live sessions all throughout the conference program. So we advise you to post in the booth description when you will be hosting live sessions. For example, daily live sessions during the morning coffee break at 10 o'clock. You can completely choose as an exhibitor when would be the best time for you to host these live sessions, but we do advise you to enter it in the booth description so that delegates know when they can join in a live session. Booth description as well as the booth design can be set up through the exhibitor portal. So I'm happily referring to another tutorial video about exhibitor portals where it will be explained how you can set up your booth and how you can customize this to fit your needs and to suit your company's branding. If a delegate were to join live, which I will just do now, they will go through audio and video settings where they can just briefly check their audio and video settings. And then they can click join meeting in order to join the meeting. Now, this is the same for you as an exhibitor. So you're going to want to go through this join live button in order to start up the live session at your booth. Another option that delegates have is to leave their contact information for you through the request information button. So when they click this, they can just send you a small message. And basically by requesting information, they will leave their contact details for you, which will automatically populate the list of lead retrievals, which you will find in your exhibitor portal. Now you'll also receive a notification email about the leads that you've collected. It will look something like this. So you'll just receive a brief message saying that there's been a new lead left for you at your exhibitor booth and the link to go to your exhibitor portal. Another way you can interact with delegates outside of the join live option where you can have live sessions at your booth is to go through to the networking tab. Under networking, you will find this button booth where you will basically find a full list of people who have accessed your booth at any one time, either before, during, or even after the conference. So go ahead and click one of them. And why not, for example, leave them a chat message indicating that they are welcome to join in the next live session the next day, for example, at 10 a.m. So this is a way that you can actually actively follow up on people who have visited your booth, reach out to them, start chatting. You can also host a one-on-one -on -one video meeting with each of the delegates through the chat function. So we really advise you to keep an eye on the booth list in the networking tab so that you can see who's been accessing your booth 